Welcome to Crystal Clear Creations. Today's DIY is a glam crystal clock. The items needed are a basic clock, wood tumbler blocks, a center handle splatter screen, acrylic gems, wire LED light, gem stickers, diamond wrap, crystal table scatter, a picture frame stand, uh, wood glue, glue sticks and glue gun, and silver spray paint. Ready? Let's go! Okay, the first thing I did was take my wood blocks and I spray painted them silver. Then I take the handle off the splatter screen, just unscrewing it. Then I mark the area where the clock would be adhered to the screen. Here I cut out a square where you can load the batteries and also the light behind the screen or inside the screen. lining up the wood blocks around the clock. Then I'm going to use wood glue and glue them down and also a little bit of hot glue and glue them down to the screen and also to the clock. I got this inspiration from another YouTuber. I was not able to locate the video. I watched it a long time ago and I said I was going to try it in a glam fashion and I was not able to find the video. But I did uh, get this inspiration from another After you have all of your wood blocks glued down, I added another piece that would be used to hang the clock. But after this clock was completed, it was pretty heavy, so I decided not to hang it on the wall. That's up to you. It depends on how you're going to hang it, and um, if you'd like to, you can continue on to do that and hang it on the wall. But it was kind of heavy, and the place I was going to hang it was going to be high, so I decided to just stand instead. Also, um, with the light, again, the place I was going to hang it was high and I didn't want to have to deal with um, turning the light on and off from such a high level. But an alternate way to uh, manage that is to use uh, a remote control LED light. the wood blocks with little pieces of wood between each block just to just reinforce it a little stronger.
multiple times around the clock until I uh, finish with the wire. of the adding the gems and the diamond wrap but I don't have it but what I did was I put the gem stickers around the, the edge of the clock I put diamond wrap around the clock and then at the base between the spider screen and the clock I put acrylic gems okay here I'm adding the crystal table scatter um, one suggestion may be to use um, maybe a clear school glue. I didn't try it here, but I did use the um, hot glue. And while that was a quicker route and less messy, it did make the uh, crystal table scatter a little bit more cloudy than I wanted it to be. Um, so I think maybe if you use clear glue, that might have would have resolved that issue in, in hindsight. Um, the other thing I would suggest, well, what I did, because I did use a hot glue, I did go back over these um, gems with the clear glue and a little mix of uh, silver glitter just to give it a little bit more sparkle because it did, using the hot glue did make it a little more dull than I expected it to be. So I did go back over it later on with um, some glitter and clear glue. Okay, the last thing that I did was take um, the gems and place them on each of the numbers on the clock uh, just to glam it up with just a little bit more, um, just an extra little added touch that's optional, um, but it just gave it a little bit more sparkle. glass of the clock and all the little marks and extra little pieces of glue and things off and put it on the stand and then I went in the back of it and I turned the lights on um, the lights I used are probably a warm light um, you might want to use like a bright white light to be a little bit brighter for this project but that's the lights that I had on hand at, at the time but here it is, your Crystal Glam Clock, and I hope you will give this a try, and let me know what you think. Please remember to like, to subscribe, and to comment. Thanks for watching, and see you again on another edition of Crystal Clear Creations.